Hi, this is Megan Chapman, and this is the Tuesday Studio Video Visit. Thank you for joining me. Um, we are in the new space, the different space. I'm thinking of this space as a bit like an artist residency, where an artist would go away for a bit with a very uh, focused period of time to work on their work, to view their work in new light, to perhaps talk to other artists about art and their work and their, their process and um, yeah to have sort of a different experience to kind of step out of their ordinary life step out of their studio routine um, so that's 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 what I'm doing because I've been given this incredible opportunity to use this space so last week uh, it was very hot my face was red I'd been sweeping trying to clean up uh, this space and I'm happy to say that for basically since I think Thursday I've been painting in the space so um, you can read all about it in the Friday studio blog and if you didn't see last week's Tuesday studio video visit please check it out there um, so you can kind of learn a little bit about this uh, wonderful opportunity this gift I've been given uh, to work in this old beautiful space um, Many people who have seen photos of the space so far or have read my blog and things like that seem to keep saying that this space really suits me um, and that it seems to make sense on some perhaps cosmic level, I don't know. But um, I agree and I love the fact that you all see that and know that about me. Um, it's, it's just always interesting to hear those kind of things. Um, Yes, I love old spaces, I love decay, I love, you know, this is like a fairy tale for me, truly. So we can come into the space and you can see kind of some of the changes I've made. I've got these um, uh, twill drop cloths that have a polyurethane underneath. That's them folded in half, so they're actually quite large. They're 9 feet by 12 feet. Um, and that's it folded in half. So I've got two of those because while this is an old uh, wonderful building, I still want to minimize my footprint on it as best as I can. Um, and so that's what I'm doing with the drop cloths to protect the space. This is the wall that I've been painting on most. I've put a few, you can kind of see a few nails in there, screws in usually existing holes that were already there. Um, and so that's where I've been working. When I came here, I brought three pieces from the New Dark series that were already in progress but had a really long way to go. And I've worked on those three pieces um, very close to completion, at least on two, possibly on the third. And then I've also started a couple of smaller pieces. So we still have a big desk in the center of the room just like how I work in my other studio I like to have my paints and my brushes and everything all spread out this wonderful old desk was already here um, again you can see it's got it's a nice wooden desk again I've got paper on it protecting it um, there were these old uh, drawers for a different desk that was in here I am using those on the other side so we'll just kind of see my setup it's not unlike so if I'm painting on that wall I've got some storage over here I can when the, I can have you know as long as it's warm enough or I'm dressed appropriately I can have my doors open let some fresh air in some light um, I've got my paints and some of my book works and some other things in that window ledge one of my other old pieces of work a bag I've got my paper that I use a lot for blotting excess paint as well as drawing and painting on I've got that hanging from a string on that old desk in this beautiful old fireplace I've got my scroll series hanging up because I plan to do some more with it those last studies that I did um, and then we start getting to the work um, that I've completed since I've been here so I started painting on Thursday today is Tuesday um, it's so um, I'm inspired by the space that's that's obvious um, so again continuing the dark series I completed this large piece which I have documented and photographed so and uh, you can see it it's just waiting there quite pleased with that piece it has a certain sort of drama a certain sort of space and land form perhaps um, then there's this piece down here 
that I think is also quite close to being finished, if not finished. So it sort of went in that order. One, two, and then this piece here, which this is the one where I'm not quite sure is finished. There's something I really like about it. My natural inclination would be to cover up some of these reds to dull them back down because as you can see in these two pieces, there's just a pop of red that is the drama. But this piece, the red is kind of on the surface in a way, but it also recesses back. There's something I really like about that, so I'm hesitant to change it right now. And as well as there's something a little different about it, obviously the color palette is the same. It's definitely clicking into the series, but there's something kind of nice about having those red bits in the foreground and a bit on the surface that then makes it a little different, breaks up the series because I don't want to be painting the same painting over and over and over again. It's one thing for you to know that, oh, she's working in a dark series. It's another thing for it to get redundant or too repetitive for me personally. So I'm letting this one rest and I'll see how I feel about it and see how I think it fits in in the grand scheme of things. But there's actually something I quite like about the push and pull of the red. Some of it's brighter, some of it's darker, some of it's faded. And then in this area here, we've got the red kind of wash that's mixing in with the dark. So that's that third piece. Then I thought I would work on a couple of smaller pieces. So like this is a 16 by 20 inch. Um, you can't probably really see it very well in here right this moment, or maybe you can. I, I also have to say, I think the light in here is much, much better and more even than in my old studio, of course or my, my current studio, it's still my studio. So um, yeah, there's some things about this I quite like. Again, a little splash of red. You can't probably see it. I'll be taking a photo of that. And then the last one I did is this. And there's something I like a little bit about the way it's broken up. Again, there's a wee bit of red. Um, my favorite part of the painting is probably this kind of line, how it overlaps and there's this size sort of vibratory as it's sort of scrubbed away, just the sort of linear quality. So there's something floating about it all, but then it's grounded and a little bit more mark, you know, like a gesture. I like that about it as well. Um, and I also like that it's just a little bit different, you know, whereas these are quite floaty, but again, that mark, the gray, it picks up that, that angular, we're making a mark here. Um, this isn't just, you know, ethereal world, <laughs> you know, or, or then again, maybe it is ethereal world. So that's um, pretty much how things are looking in here. So uh, just, just by the drop cloths, you can tell how large sort of the space is. If, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good size space. I'm absolutely in love with all these walls, um, the tall ceilings, the universal kind of light, and being able to have my door open and get some fresh air um, and come out and check the weather. Um, it's just a great, it's a great feeling and I'm very inspired and I'm very thankful and very grateful and happy to be sharing um, my little artist residency with you. So thanks so much for everybody's interest, excitement and support. It really means a lot. Um, yeah, artist communities are wonderful communities. It's just, it's just incredible. So thank you very much. I hope you're well, happy and inspired wherever you are. I hope you create some magic for yourself. Uh, reach out to your artist communities, see what is available to you, and see what you can create on your very own. So take care until next week. Bye.